Hey, listen, realtors and loan officers, as we always do over here at Mortgage Shots is we give you what's going on in the mortgage and real estate industry, and we provide you with a strategy to make it work for you. Today's no different. Now, listen, if you like the strategy, make sure you share it because that helps us out a lot. Anyways, on to the show. So how expensive is it to buy a house today? Well, try this one on for size. Home buyers need right now to earn 80% more than they did just three and a half short years ago back in 2020 for the same house. Now, ain't that something? Home prices are up 42% since 2020. But because both rates and borrowing costs have skyrocketed, you need to earn 80% more to comfortably afford a home in today's market. Median incomes have risen just 23% over the past four years, leaving many people out of the running for home ownership. Guys, I gotta tell you, we have just lost our equilibrium with housing. We need to find cheaper homes, which is happening in some markets, or find borrowers who make more money. Now, before you say that that can happen, let me tell you this one little point. Median weekly earnings of full-time workers were $1,145 in the fourth quarter of 2023. Women had median weekly earnings of $1,031 or 83 3.8% of the $1,231 median for men. That comes out to $59,540 annually. However, the average income for a self-employed person is the average salary of an independent consultant at $97,500. Meaning, it's really quite simple. Your average self-employed person makes twice as much money as your average W-2 worker. So go find more self-employed people. Now, listen very closely, guys. Your average non-QM borrower that self-employed sucker out there makes twice as much as your agency borrower, your W-2 borrower. So if you need borrowers who make more money, go directly to small businesses in your area. Those are your self-employed folks. Those are the ones who make more on average. Now, here's an idea. If you go directly to that small business in your community and do their loan, you would probably use that opportunity to put a Trojan horse on their business and access the database of whatever that business is. For example, you go over to Oak Tree, our non-QM provider over here, and get some of their flyers, specifically for those non-QM borrowers, those self-employed borrowers. Then go to every small business in your town, and you hand those flyers off to the owners. And why don't you say something like this? I know you're self-employed, and I'm a small business self-employed expert when it comes to home loans. It's where I focus my business. So if you or any of your other friends who also own small businesses are looking to buy a house, come talk to me because I can help you out with that specific type of financing. Talk to me because I've got the goods. Then discuss referral business with as many of those small businesses as you can. Here's the deal. I've got 70 businesses within walking distance of our office here, and I've got that flyer, and I'm going to go hand them off because one, it doesn't cost any money of significance, and two, it won't take any time, and the return on investment, well, it could be huge. The question is, of those 70 businesses, what are the chances of me picking up a transaction or a future referral partner? Well, the answer is zero. A big old goose egg if we don't go out and do it. Or probably if we do go out and do it. Now, you see, I kind of like those odds. The question is, what's stopping you from doing the exact same thing? Reach out to my friends at Oak Tree and they will point you, my friends, in the right direction for the right clients for the market that we're in today. Make sense? Hope this helps. (laughs) 